What's up guys, this is Wes Fish Tanks and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you about the number one reason why fish die in new tanks and that is because your aquarium is not properly cycled. I'm going to teach you how to instantly cycle an aquarium. Many just want fish right now, especially where I work at Petco, people do not want to wait a month or six weeks, let alone a week, to put fish in. So I need to be able to cycle their tank right away, instantly, and that is the best way to be able to get people into the hobby quickly. So I'm going to teach you today of how to do that yourself. There are three ways and methods that I use to do this, but I'm going to teach you a little bit of background on the cycle first. So if you don't know what the cycle is, basically we're talking about the nitrogen cycle in the aquarium. This is basically how your aquarium processes fish waste. Or it could be plant waste, as in decaying plants and leaves that are just melting or dying, or it could be you dropped a turkey sandwich in your tank, it could be anything. Anything breaking down in your tank is going to create ammonia, which is the first step of our cycle. Now ammonia is extremely toxic. Ammonia is very bad for fish, especially their respiratory function. Fish cannot last very long in ammonia at all. And so we need to be able to figure out a way to get rid of that ammonia. Now I'm sure you don't want to do constant water changes and that would be way too much work. So instead we are going to get the cycle started in our aquarium. This is the nitrogen cycle. Basically there is beneficial bacteria. This is called that way because this bacteria is very helpful for us in this cycle. This bacteria is amazing because it takes ammonia and it turns ammonia into nitrite. Nitrite is just a different form of ammonia, still pretty toxic, but not quite as toxic as that ammonia I was talking about before. So we have ammonia to nitrite, and then a different bacteria takes nitrite into nitrate with an A. That is our cycle here that we're talking about, is going from ammonia to nitrite to nitrate. And that is the whole purpose of this video, is to teach you how to do that, because it may seem like way too sciencey and something you don't need to know, but as soon as you get home and you feed your fish because you're so excited to set up your tank and get the fish going, and then the next day you wake up and your fish is lying on the floor or it is stuck up against the filter because it died and moved over to there from the flow of the tank, just all these sad scenarios that we don't want because our cycle was not properly done. Now it sounds way more complicated than it is, it is actually super easy. As long as you guys follow everything correctly and don't skimp on the steps, then you should be perfectly fine and we will get your aquarium started up instantly. An aquarium that has been started up instantly is not as stable as one that's been going for a long time, but it is still going to keep fish alive way better than a tank that has not been properly cycled in any way. So that is why I'm going to teach you how to instant cycle an aquarium because we need that bacteria again to eat the ammonia from the fish waste and then the ammonia gets turned into the nitrite with an I and then the nitrite gets turned into the nitrate with an A. Nitrite is still a little bit toxic, only in high numbers, so that's why we can have like 20 to 40 parts per million in the tank and be perfectly fine. A lot of tanks may even be neglected and may be up to 100 or more parts per million nitrite, and that is still so much easier for the fish to handle than any amount of ammonia over like 0.5 parts per million in the tank. So we are dealing with something very important here. Now ammonia is dangerous because because not only is it made in a tank that hasn't had that cycle started in it, it also is invisible in the water. It dissolves fully in the water in lower amounts, and those lower amounts are lower by our eye standards, but they are not lower to the fish because they are extremely deadly to fish. And so this is why this is the number one way to kill your fish when you start off is because it just is such a fast way to get them to stop breathing and to have ammonia burn, if you've ever heard of that before. That's having so much ammonia in the aquarium that your fish scales and slime coat starts to melt off because of the ammonia content. It is very corrosive, very not good, so let's teach you how to get that out of your aquarium. Now a lot of it, almost all the bacteria is going to be in the gravel eventually if you have substrate or sand or in the plants and the decorations, but there is a ton in the filter media. A lot of filter medias are things like sponge or ceramic media, things that have a lot of pores and holes in them because that is a ton of surface area for this bacteria. That's right, this bacteria does not live in the water, it doesn't float around the tank. The bacteria is on every single surface area in the tank once it spreads out everywhere. And so this bacteria does not live in water, you can't grab a bag of water and put it into your tank, and you can't season water 
water in another aquarium and put it into your tank to cycle it, it has to be the surface area. Now, while there may be very small amounts of bacteria in the water, it's nothing to write home about, so we're just gonna skip it and go straight to where over 99% of the bacteria is, and that is on the surface areas. And so that is why filters are so important, is because not only do they have the filter media that has a lot of surface area, but they also create flow in the tank. Flow is extremely important to the cycle because this beneficial bacteria that we're talking about breathe oxygen just like we do. They need to breathe oxygen in and out, and if they don't have it, they will actually die. And so not only does the filter provide filter media, it also gives them lots of oxygenated water and provides surface movement at the water surface. And moving things change, they change out the oxygen for the carbon dioxide and vice versa and they help to maintain both levels, and having good oxygen in the tank is very important for these bacteria to live. It's kind of like a conveyor belt. You just get your ammonia and your oxygen and nitrite, and you take it to the bacteria. Bacteria eats it, sends it down the line as nitrate, and carbon dioxide, that's why oxygen is so important for aquariums too and those all help to be able to complete our cycle here. So now that we've gone over the basics of ammonia to nitrate, our goal here, I'm going to get into my three methods of how to do this. All right, so our first method of the day is to get a filter that is already cycled. This means the filter media or what is inside the filter already has beneficial bacteria all over the surface areas. Now this can be attained in a couple ways. The most popular way is to usually get a sponge filter either from a tank you already have set up or if you don't, don't worry because you can always get a friend that has an aquarium set up and get a filter that is cycled from them. Maybe you can put a sponge filter or a hang on back filter on their tank just as an extra filter and leave it on there for about a week or two weeks and then you can put it on your aquarium or maybe you can even convince them to let you switch out your new filter with theirs and that way you get their filter and they can have your new one because they maybe want a new one that is already fresh and can have bacteria put back into it very easily because they have beneficial bacteria all in their gravel but you need beneficial bacteria very much for your new tank so this old filter even though it may sound bad because it's old it does have beneficial bacteria all inside of it which is going to keep your fish alive so much better than a new filter with no beneficial bacteria. And if you have no fish keeping friends, very sad, then you can go to a store and get filter media from them. You can see if they have cycled filter media available, because many local fish stores do. Or if it's a box store, if they have someone who's experienced with aquatics, they may know how important this bacteria is for your aquarium and so they may be willing to give you filter media from one of their tanks or some gravel, something that you can add to your tank that has this beneficial bacteria all over the surface areas or maybe if they're really cool they'll let you purchase a new filter and switch it out for one of theirs at the store but that one's more rare. Maybe sometimes you could try a decoration and switch it out for one that's in their tanks already but it's probably better to go for the media instead because that's going to be a lot easier to do. Only the filter is going to have the beneficial bacteria, but the beneficial bacteria doubles once per day, about once per day, and so it'll slowly move from the filter down your aquarium to the other side as needed for however much oxygen and food it has to keep it alive. This is why you can't cycle an aquarium with nothing in it. Some people will tell you to just let your tank run for three days, but this is a complete waste of three days because you could have been actually cycling your aquarium in that time. Instead of just leaving the tank there with nothing in it and doing nothing, you have to add bacteria in some way that is live beneficial bacteria, or else it takes forever for the bacteria to spawn up naturally, and it just takes way too long, so don't just wait for three days for nothing to happen. Instead, get this filter or filter media on your tank or try one of the next two methods. So method number two is to actually either use a beneficial bacteria product, like a bottled bacteria, mainly the refrigerated ones, or you can also use my favorite, which is to get the filter gravy. Now, filter gravy is a descriptive word for what happens when you squeeze out an old filter that has not been squeezed out in a while, if it's sponge or anything that is able to be squished at all because it has just so much mulm and fish poop and bacteria in it. That is what we want. Because even though before I said that the water is not 
really that useful for cycling your tank. If you have water that is filled with mulm and detritus, which is basically just broken down organic matter in the tank, then all those little particles are surface area where that bacteria is going to live, even on the fish poop that's in there mixed in with all the other stuff. So it may sound kind of gross, but just squeeze that out from a store's filter, ask them of course, or a friend that has a filter that they need to squeeze out, just get it in a plastic bag and wrap it up just like you would fish so it doesn't spill all over your car, and then take it into your aquarium and just dump it in there, either in the filter or in the tank, whatever it is. Just make sure that mulmy, gross filter gravy gets into your tank and goes everywhere because then the bacteria will start to colonize the whole tank. You could also use a bottled bacteria products. Be very careful on this one though because some bottled bacteria products are complete scams. <laughs> some of them are not good in any way and they really haven't been shown in any testing to have much of an effect at all. Some of these claim to be able to allow you to add fish instantly. Don't listen to most of these. There are outlying good ones like Fritz Turbo Start and Fritz Zyme are two ones that I have never personally used myself but I've heard they are very good from people who I trust their knowledge and their experimenting so those are two products I would try out if I was thinking about it but I like to go the cheap route because I'm a cheapskate now a con of this method is that it will make your tank look dirty at first if you use the mulmy bag of water, but not to be worried, it is going to go away in a couple days, and better to have a dirty looking tank with healthy fish than a clean looking tank with dead fish. So I would definitely go with this method if you don't mind that dirty look, or if you want the clean look but still want to go with the kind of bagged up ready to go method, then I would go with either the Turbo Start or the Fritz Zyme. Be very careful again on the other ones, most of them are just way too expensive for food for your bacteria which is basically just ammonia and nitrite, what we're trying to get rid of anyway. So our final method, number three on this list, is my personal favorite method and that is to do live aquarium plants. Now the best way to go is to get aquarium plants from your local fish store or online where they ship them in water or give them to you in water because again the bacteria is living on the leaves, it's living on the stems and the roots, every surface area of the plant that bacteria is going to be in an aquatic environment. So make sure that you have it in water or at least that it's wet so that the bacteria can get some oxygen into it. And this will not work for tissue culture plants, this will not work for immersed grown plants, plants grown out of water. It will only grow for plants that were grown submerged, so plants grown underwater and that have been kept in water. So plants are kind of our last step in the nitrogen cycle. They complete the circle, so that way we go ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and plants kind of take us not back to ammonia, but they eat it to complete the cycle of getting rid of the ammonia and fish waste. And so plants are incredibly important and very great at doing this because just like our bodies can digest our fats and our muscles in times of stress, plants can digest ammonia and nitrite in times of stress and they take in a lot of nitrite in good times because that is their preferred method of fertilizing in an aquatic environment as well as all the other fertilizing but that's another video. Not only do plants do a great job at being natural fertilizers and house a lot of bacteria, they also look super good so that way you're starting your aquarium off with a bang and it looks amazing. My biggest tip here is to plant heavy when you first start. That is going to give you the best chance if you only use this method. Don't just put one plant in there because that's not going to do a whole lot but if you have a bunch of plants like the tank behind me or even more would be better then you are on your way to having a really healthy aquarium right off the bat. A lot of new tanks that are cycling also get the brown algae or it's actually diatom or diatom algae might be another way you heard it. Just basically these little diatoms or aquatic organisms that look like brown algae and they are eaten by many snails and things like that but having a ton of plants in your aquarium will make it so you don't have to scrub it off the glass or the decorations because they will be intaking the nutrients and the light instead. So this brown algae is very common in new aquariums but plants do help to interact them so that I think is number four on our pro list for plants. The cons are that sometimes you can buy plants that were not grown in water or weren't grown well and that can just be different water parameters than yours. That can be that they are grown in CO2 and your tank may not have CO2 if you're starting out and learning how to cycle an aquarium. But there is still a good amount of beneficial bacteria on these if they were underwater or if they weren't grown underwater. 
then maybe they do and take a little bit but not much so just be careful where you get your plants from do them from trusted sources like hobbyists local fish stores cram co-op has really good plants just good submerged grown plants or plants that have been converted that way they're wet and have the bacteria on them so you may be wondering which of the three methods is the best is it number one having an already cycled filter or filter media is it number two using bottled bacteria or filter gravy a mulmy gross bag of water to filter your tank and get bacteria going or is it number three having plants as natural filtration and to have the bacteria from submerged underwater grown plants and the answer is all of them all of the above option d because having a filter that is fully cycled with bacteria as well as adding bacteria to the water column to spread out to the rest of the filter areas and submerged areas like the gravel that has a lot of surface area and also having tons of plants with bacteria on them and acting as natural fertilizers is my favorite way to start an aquarium and it is how I start all of my aquariums. I usually take a filter like the sponge filter and move it into a tank that I'm starting up and then I put a new sponge filter into my tank and that way I have a brand new tank that is ready to go because I also take trimmings of my plants or new submerged grown plants and I put them into that new tank as well as taking some of my squeeze filter gravy from my tanks and that stuff has been squeezed out of my sponges on my filter intake or my sponge filter and it goes into the new tank and does a really great job. So that is why I use all three methods because it is just again an instant way to start your aquarium up and that is the goal of today is to get your aquarium started up as fast as possible so if you guys have any questions at all on any of the methods I outlined or the cycle process or the bacteria or the nitrogen cycle or what nitrogen even means I saw that on the periodic table in eighth grade didn't think I would be hearing it in fish tank talks then please comment down below your questions I get back to everyone and so if you have any questions at all let me know or you can also reach me at westfishtanks at gmail.com so that is my YouTube channel at gmail.com, westfishtanks at gmail.com. You guys can email me on there and I will write back to you as soon as I can. I love answering questions again, so please keep them coming and ask me questions. I will get back to you guys the best that I can. If I don't know the answer, then I will send you guys in the right direction, hopefully. But I would love to see your guys' comments on there. Or if you also had constructive criticism, something you didn't like from the video, or if you did actually surprisingly like this video and did want to comment something good, please put that down below as well because I would love to hear what you guys think. So as we wrap up here, please go ahead and like the video if you could, please. I would love to be able to have your guys' like on my video here. If you didn't like it, please dislike it because either way it's still activity on the video and if you could also subscribe if you aren't already and press that notification bell so you get all the new videos from this channel 10 a.m. every Sunday Pacific time you guys will have a video out for you on this channel please keep posted for things like plant guides and fish guides and other ways to keep aquariums and some different projects that I'm setting up here that I have all the supplies to finally so please stay tuned for all these exciting new things in West fish tanks thank you so much for watching guys stay tuned and have a great day.